I go in there. It's full of birds. I feel a bit, I don't know, I feel a bit weird being here because um, it's literally just off the road like probably a bit dangerous really for a woman to be down here on her own but I just couldn't resist it it's definitely something um, I don't know what they're going to do with this Hollies I looked at a couple of things on the internet and they were like, oh you know I committed to save it but doesn't look like it's being saved to me. Hello everyone and thank you for clicking on today's video. So, um, today I wanted to go back to the Hollies um, for two reasons. One, I wanted to go inside it while well, there's still one to go inside, um, which I'll be showing you the footage. Um, in fact, it should already be on now. But anyway, and the other thing, I wanted to tell you the story of uh, a chap that used to live there, John Dodd, JP. Now, Mr. Dodd's family lived there up until the uh, late 30s, uh, which I think at one at that particular point, that's when it was handed over into trust to the local council and they used it as a um, mental facility, uh, I believe, um, until, well, until they didn't, until they left it and, and it now lies abandoned. Um... So, yeah, I wanted to uh, show you the video of, of going back, but I also, more importantly, wanted to tell you about Mr. Dodd, um, what he was about, uh, what happened to him in life, and where the Hollies comes into it. It's all collapsed, hasn't it? Yeah. All the fucking ceiling's gone. Wow. Make our way around the front now. I wanted to show you a picture that um, Mr. Dodd sent me. Um, that shows the front of the Hollies with uh, one of their cars outside and, and people lined up at the side of it taking a photograph and it obviously if you can't see it from the other pictures you can see how immaculate um, the front of the you know the house was how well maintained it was out of the Hollies and we're going to go down to um, beautiful Cheddarton Cemetery which is where we tend to end up most of the time right I've just been told um, that the Hollies is being demolished as we speak. So I've decided to come up to Frederick Street. I'm going to see if I can walk down. No doubt I'll get told to go away. Um, but if I can just get a view from the road. In fact, yeah, I can go down so far. There's a barrier. I'm going to go for it.
This man's looking at me. <laughs> you think he's gonna come and tell me to go away? Oh my God, it's gone. The house has officially gone. It's literally just down now to a pile of rubble. And when it was inevitable that it was going to happen. See the rubble there. Let's just get a close in on that. Uh, what are you doing with land? It's already sold up there. What are they doing with it? Just, just curious. That's all. It was yeah, obvious it was going to go. So I've already sold it. Yeah. But they'd only took a deposit <coughs> over the weekend or something. Some of I mean, it might be that for a bit, but it's all dropped through at the back. Oh, it would drop through for ages. That were all gone. Yeah, yeah. It was obvious it was going to come down, but it's just one of those things, isn't it? Another building. But in, it's, in its heyday, it were. Never have got it back to. No. Well, we're gone. As soon as you touched it, it just dropped. It's dangerous. Well, that back end were down, and I mean, the only bit that were really standing really were the modern bit. Oh, the and then everything else we threw. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, been all yeah. Whistle to the radio. I am going to leave that in, you know. <laughs> I hope that they do something nice with the site. It's just such a bloody shame. Um, John Dodd's grave. Now it's just across the way from John Platt's um, in Chadderton Cemetery. And here it is. Now there's an interesting uh, motif on the um, on the grave on the other side as we go round. But this is his plaque, um, and he was he was he was married to two ladies in his life. John Dodd. He was married to Elizabeth Lees. Now uh, his first wife died. Um, she, apparently, from what I've heard, she died a, a terrible death. I don't know what that death was. It was obviously a long illness of some sort. But the interesting fact is his second wife, who um, we believe isn't actually in here but is named on the tomb, seems to be a suggestion she's she's over in uh, Northern Ireland. Um, but she was actually the nurse of John Dodd's first wife and he married her after the death of his first wife. Um, poor thing only lived a year after him and then sadly died herself but this is what I wanted to show you look at this motif do you see how it's got the hollies on it yeah and you know the other signs in the middle if you look around the co-ops in Oldham those signs are on the co-op the harvest and then that little crescent moon interesting I wonder if he had something to do with the co-ops as well